Good morning. Welcome to day 44 of the 100 day project. This is day 43, 42, and 41. <clears throat> I have to go backwards or I'll get it wrong. <laughs> this is what we did for the last three days, creating little canvases using scraps. This is what I dug through and I need to do something with those. So we'll probably do something with those this week, but today I don't have a clue what I'm gonna do. These turned out really cute. These are the inspiration for those. I did these in 2016 and these in 2022. I think I'm gonna take these and get a mat specifically made for these and put them in a frame about that long. I don't know when, who knows when, but that's my plan. I think they're really cute. Okay, so let me get off of here and <laughs> figure out what we're gonna do today. And then when I get back, I'll let you know, which will be just like that. Okay, here's what I've decided I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play with a piece of paper today. It's a mixed media piece of paper by Strathmore. It is six by eight and it's 140 pound weight. And I've taken my paper and I've taped it off around the edges and I taped it in such a way that if I wanted to use a mat, I could like that. But I won't have a white border in here because my tape goes right up to the edge here. If you want a border, be sure and tape further in so that you have a white border and then your piece in the center. I'm gonna use frog tape that's this right here. It makes it easy to peel off the paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and gesso this paper, just a light, light coat, just a very light coat, just to give it a little bit of a surface prep. And then I'm gonna play with these distressed paints. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. <laughs> I'll decide when I get there. So let's go ahead and put a little gesso down on here and prep our paper. This is just Liquitex gesso. I'm just making it a really thin coat. So it should dry fairly fast. Okay, I want this to dry and then I'll be back. I've had these for so long and they are so old that they're not working as well as I'd like them to. I tested them out. I took two pieces of this paper out of here and I put a little gesso down and I tested out the colors just to see what they look like and what I like the best. And there's three colors on each flower. These are just leftover paint that I had on my brush that I put in this book probably 10 years ago, five years ago, eight years ago, I don't know. <laughs> So I just use these as test pieces. I like this purple and pink together. I like these together here, but I think I'm leaning towards this. And the purple's not working very well, so I don't know. We'll just start putting down some purple. And if I have to, I'll open the cap and I'll use my brush and see what happens. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush because I'm not gonna spend five hours trying to squeeze something out of a tube. Like I said, they are old and I got them on clearance. Let's see what the brush does. Makes it a lot thicker than I want. <laughs> oh well. Let's see what happens when I do this. Well, we got a hot mess to fix, so we'll just keep working at it. I'm just gonna work until I can come up with something that I like, or at least till I can get to the next step. Let's see if water makes it run. Water makes it run a little bit. I want this to dry just a little bit before I put on the next coat. I wasn't intending to put water on it, but I was curious, so I did. Now it's wet, so I gotta wait a second. The pink seems to work pretty good. I'm just going over the entire piece and muting back the purple and seeing what we get. The little sponges at the top here are peeling off. You know, I'm gonna give my honest take on something. I love all these little things that come out, but I find more times than not, if I purchase them, whether I get them full price or on clearance, that they're more trouble than they're worth. Like the spray inks, I love them. And most of the time, I enjoy working with them, but a lot of times I have trouble with the little caps. And then you gotta go clean them, and then you gotta keep them upside down, or you gotta keep them sideways, or you gotta fix it, or you gotta change the nozzles out. I have some fabric sprays, and I forget who they're by, but they always work pretty good, and they're permanent, so I'll probably play with those soon. And these, the little sponge thing wants to come off, and like I said, they're really old, and they were on clearance when I got them, so who knows how old they were when they were on clearance. Some of these come out easy, some don't. I just, 
I don't know, I think I'd rather just use a brush rather than deal with the mess or the problems that come with stuff like this. I find I don't need it most of the time anyway. And I wish I hadn't put down the purple because I'm just not loving this. But you know how we go when we don't love something, we just keep going until we get something we do love. Probably I'll bring out some stencils and maybe some scraps. I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna bring some stencils in and then we might use this again, we might not. I don't really enjoy using them with the little topper. The two stencils I've got right now, this is the plaid folk art one we used the other day. It's called Lovely Floral. I like that as a background stencil. And then I wanted something funky, so I got the Mini Cursive Alpha and this is a Balzer Designs. So I'm gonna use this one first and I'm going to use yellow ochre and a sponge. I'm gonna go through the whole thing and just put down stencil in this direction. So I'm just gonna go the whole thing. You can tell I don't love the background for me to do that. Some areas will be darker, some areas will be lighter, depending on how hard I push. And I take that just to keep it in place while I got my paint out. I'm just gonna continue it down here, some haphazard place. Okay, I like that. I was going through my scraps and I found this paper. And I really like this area here. And I thought that looks like a cool, funky flower. So I'm kind of thinking I want to work my way toward using this on here. I'm just not exactly sure how I'm going to get there because I don't really like this or this together on there. I might do a little bit of stenciling with some off-white or something to kind of push that back a little bit. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do it with the same stencil too. We're going to use light antique white and I'm going to use the same sponge that I was using. I haven't cleaned it and if any color blends in it'll just be muted and it'll, it'll look fine. I'm going to try and line up on the stencil that I had before. If it's not perfect, I'll be okay with it, but I, I kind of want it covered. My sponge still had yellow on it, so it is showing some yellow, but it's a lot lighter, which I think I'm going to like better. <laughs> Who knows? I might not. We'll see. I kind of like it. I like that. I like that a lot. It makes me feel much better. All right, but it still doesn't let me bring this in yet. I don't think. Maybe I should go ahead and cut it out just so that I can play with it and audition it. Okay, that's the audition. It's not ready to be there yet. It may not go there. You know, I may change my mind. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another stencil on here and I had originally thought I was gonna use this text stencil by Balzer Designs, but I've decided not to this one here. I think it'd be get too busy right now, so we may not use that. But I went through my other stencils and I have this negative space of a leaf die cut that I cut out a long time ago. And I'm going to take the bronze from Artist Loft and I'm going to stencil some leaves all over. I could take my leaf that we have over here, my real leaf, and put real leaves on it. And I might, I might do that too. But right now I just want to do this. Just playing, trying to get to a good spot where I feel good about putting down some paper or finishing this off because right now I don't love it. <laughs> don't love it. All right, so I'm just gonna put stencil leaves down every which way. And yeah, I'm gonna cover some flowers and that's okay. Maybe it'll show through. It looks like they're going to. Get rid of the excess paint on one of these papers. Honestly, I think that of everything I do, these little painty papers or excess paint papers are my favorite. <laughs> I think that's the favorite thing that I ever do. <laughs> and I think what I'm gonna do one day is take these papers and maybe cover up some tags with them. I don't know. Okay, use up your extra paint, don't waste it. You make some cool papers that way. Now, I don't know what to do. This may not work. This may not look good on here. We may have to go another direction. I just don't know what the direction is yet. I like this. I may have some more of this. I'm gonna look. I did have more of this, but once I got it over here, I don't love it, so we're not gonna use it. But what I did find was this. And you're gonna say, well, that looks like crap with that. <laughs> it does. But what I liked was this this right here, the negative space, where I cut out something and I either used it or I was gonna use it, I don't know, and it left the negative space. And so I like that. And I was thinking, well, maybe I could stencil my own little flower on here. And then I saw this little piece. It was a negative space. It could be a leaf. 
I might could use the circle for something, I don't know, but I need to keep this paper together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of washi tape back here. Okay, this one won't hold together because it's open here. Okay, so I want maybe three flowers here. I was thinking of doing it in this aqua green color too. I know, I love the color, I can't help it. I guess the only way to find out is just do it. I was looking at these colors and seeing if there's anything I could use that I liked well enough. Not really. I'm gonna try this color. You know what, let's try a light color first and see how we like it. We can always go over it. I'll try the mint julep green. We'll see if we like it. Okay, I've got some on my plate and I'm gonna use my same sponge. It's got the bronze and the yellow on it and I'm gonna be perfectly fine with that if it comes through because we're just testing this to see if we like it. We might be totally just wishing that we hadn't done this when we get done, but you never know till you try it. Kind of like it. Maybe we need different color, maybe three colors. And let's do the other side. Let's flip the stencil over. I'm not cleaning my sponge again. These have a tulipy look to them. And my tulips are coming up that I planted last year, which I'm very proud of. It's like I did something special, but all I did was put bulbs on the ground. Not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I gotta get some stems on here. Actually, I gotta get rid of this paint and then uh, I'll come back and I'll do some stems. Okay, Y'all are gonna think I'm nuts, but I wish that I would have put the light color on top. So I'm gonna go over what I've done here. I'm gonna go over with a light color on the dark one. Then I'm gonna bring the dark one down over the light ones. Kind of like that. I like that better. Okay, I'm just going to take the same colors and I'm just going to bring in some stems. And I put a little pencil line to kind of help me go where I want to go, but I'll erase what I don't use. Okay, I've got my stems on. Now I'm gonna put on my leaves and I'm gonna use this little piece of paper as a stencil. What I like about doing this is it's not perfect and it's it's not something that I, I like stenciled on. Like this is so perfect, this little leaf here. When I do this kind of thing, it's almost like I did it myself because this is something I actually cut out with my hand and it's not perfect and it's, it's funky looking, you know? I don't know how to describe it. We'll just continue on. I'm gonna use this Distress Paint. It's forest moss. I'm going to try that and see if I like it for leaves. If not, I will go over it with something else. Put some little lines in there before it dries. That's not bad. It doesn't show up a lot, but it might have if I do some outlining. So I'm going to do the rest of them that way. And then if I don't like it, I'll just go over it again. I'm gonna take this green here and put a little bit in the stem. I'm gonna take the Faber-Castell pit pens and I'm gonna trace around the flowers and the stems and see if I like it. I've got three different colors here to kind of go with the colors I chose. Okay, that's the preliminary go around, but you know I'm gonna come over with a black pen or a white pen or something and make it more scribbly or it's not perfect. This isn't perfect, but this is too close to the shape and I don't want that. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then I'll think about what I wanna do next. I'm gonna try this permanent lip pen marker by Marvy and see if it does what I want it to do. Hopefully it will, you never know. Sometimes I have trouble writing over things with this thing. I'm gonna go loose. It doesn't like writing over some of this, so I'm gonna switch over to my Posca pen, which is a little thicker than I wanted. Hmm, I'm gonna try my Scarlet Lime pen. Still got one of those laying around. This pen has been with me a long time. This is a Christy Tomlinson 
pen back when she sold pens. I think I want to push back the background a little bit with my wicker white. Probably should have done this before I did my pen work, but I was eager. So let's see what to do, what to do. I want something up here. I don't know what though, so I gotta figure that out. Remember this piece here that I wanted to play with on here? It's got some blues and greens in it. I'm wondering how it would look with some circles. Let's just try one. That's kind of pretty. I don't know, maybe a little tiny strip. Let's try that on a few. I'm gonna put it down, I like it. I'm gonna use matte medium and I'm just gonna put them down. I decided to try a strip, so I'm gonna test out a few strips and see if I like that instead. I think I like that better. So we're gonna save these for something else. So I'm just gonna put these down. I'm gonna take the tape off and see how I feel about what we have. I think that's pretty. I'm not quite done. Those little pieces that I told you I wasn't gonna use here, I'm gonna put them down in these spots right here. And when I come back, they'll be down. I'm gonna bring this Posca pen in and just give a little bit of highlight to this area here that I put those little scraps. And where's my pencil? Maybe I don't want any pencil on here, but no, well, maybe I do. Just a little bit there and maybe here. And one more spot right there. Ah, oh, pretty, very, very pretty. I don't wanna bring out these too, too much because I want them to stand out a lot, but I think we are done. I could write in black pen or something, but that would be unnecessary. Do I need any white in my leaf? Do I want this China marker? Okay, I think that's it. I think it's done. I really think that's pretty. And I really started out not liking this. And these, not my favorite, but I actually got to this point using these, so they serve a purpose. This is just a good way to use your scraps after you cut your scraps out. Look for negative space too. Don't just think about using your scrap pieces. Think about the negative space that you leave behind. Sometimes you have a stencil, and I'll probably use this stencil a couple more times. I'll cut it out and stick it aside somewhere so I don't forget. I like the circle too, so I might save that. Okay. Let's see what it looks like with the mat. Dun, 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 dun. How about a black dot? Do we need a black dot on here? <laughs> How about some black splatters? Ooh, should we have done that? Yes. Okay, I gotta figure out a way to protect it. Hold on. Okay, I should have done the splatters before I took off my tape, but I didn't. So we're gonna put down some paper and protect it because I just want a little bit. I don't want a lot. So that's protected enough. I've got a little bit of paint on my plate. It's gonna wet my brush down, and I just want a few. Oh, that just makes me happy. I do love that. Do I need any more black splatters anywhere? This one might give you some black splatters. Let's let this dry for a minute, and let's give this one some black splatters. It'll come in handy later. Let me dry our other one and I'll show you what it looks like in the mat. Now this is like an off-white color. It could be any color. This is just my test mat. That's so pretty. And you choose whatever color you want of mat. This just happens to be off-white. Sometimes I'll play around with the other side because it's white and I'll, I can get an idea of what it would look like in a white mat, although this is not the correct side to use. But I love it. I love it in a mat. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow for day, what, 45. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.